Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, this video is going to be um, my cats in the frame. Evie's back there. Um, just some new makeup that I got. I'm gonna open stuff up and show you. Um, the stuff will be in hopefully videos coming up. So yeah, if you wanna see new stuff that I got and I can kind of give everybody an update. I'm gonna try and do a get ready we're all go a little more in depth on stuff. But yeah, if you wanna see some of the newer products that I got, then just keep on watching. Make sure you're subscribed if you're not already. And yeah, let's okay. jump into it So right my cat is literally right here. My dogs are here. Um, so if you hear noise or anything crashing the ground, um, just know that's what it is. So let's do the things that I bought and then I will show you the stuff. They sent my boxy pop-up order separately this time. So I ended up getting four palettes because they were a really good deal and a brow product. Uh, the only reason I added the brow product was mainly so I could get free shipping. But because um, with BoxyCharm, when you do the pop-ups, if you have $25 or more, it's free to ship. So, so let's get into the stuff that I bought. So first thing, this came in my Walmart order. We do the Walmart pickup. I forgot that I added this to the cart. This is one of the Profusion palettes. I don't know if I can get it open. There's tape. Probably should have prepped for this a little bit sooner. Try and cut this carefully. I just got back from Montana literally um, yesterday. I'm filming this on Monday the 14th. I don't know when the video is going to go up, but I got home on Sunday so I, I did go to Montana for two weeks. Hey, don't bite those. Hey, no. No, he's trying to bite my eyebrushes. Um, so I forgot that I added this, but I've been curious about Profusion. My camera is moving because my cat is behind it. Um, I've heard that these are good quality, so I decided to get one of the smaller. Stop chewing on everything. What is this? Five, 10 shades. This is our smaller one. I didn't want one of the big honking ones because I don't need a palette that big. So this is the mauves. Not that I need another pink palette, but I did want to try the brand. So this was five, five dollars, I think. So I have that. So that will probably be in a get ready video with me. My nose is running a little bit because I have not used my allergy spray. Um, my allergies were horrible while I was gone, but they're different because I'm back with my pet. So, and then I got um, with Makeup Revolution, Soph, um, she is an influencer. She did another collab with Makeup Revolution. The bell noise that you were hearing is my cat. He is behind, like literally right behind the camera. So the little jingling, I apologize. I'm sure you can hear it. Anyways, she came out with a new Makeup Revolution palette. I have her original Soph palette and the Extra Spice. And this one is the Super Spice. She came out with little highlighter duos, so I got one of those. And then one of her lip kits, which is a lip liner tinted lip balm set. So these arrived while I was gone. Hey, you, this is Charlie. I think we talked in a video about him. I introduced him again. I just need to leave the box cutter out here. Um, I have her original highlighter palette as well. I got her original Revolution palette and her original highlight palette on Poshmark. You can still get them on Makeup Revolution site. They're not available in Ulta anymore. The Extra Spice. Hey! The Extra Spice palette is still available at Ulta. So this is her third one. It's about the same size. Hey! The dogs get very excited about the cat. Um... I would say it's a hair bigger and it's a tad thicker just because they went with cardboard packaging this time. But I, out of all of the Makeup Revolution palettes, I think the Tammy palettes and then the Soph palettes are probably some of the best ones. And I do really, really like the two that I have. They're drugstore, obviously. So I wanted to pick this up. Excuse me. Hey. No. I know this shade no no brownies and cookie dough these two brown shades were in the extra spice palette those were two of the most popular shades so oh these two 
um, she added them to this palette, but everything else is a brand new shade. So there is that, that will, I might do a video just with these products, just because I have, you know, a piece of the collection. She does have a smaller palette that she did that's the most popular matte shades from the Extra Spice with two brand new shimmers. I didn't get that because I have the Extra Spice palette. So I just got the big palette. I didn't feel the need. I don't travel that much, so I didn't feel the need to have the smaller palette. And the Extra Spice palette, they're pretty compact because they're her original two are both plastic. So they travel well. This, she had three highlighter duos. This is the lightest one. I was going to get the medium one and then realized like how fair I've gotten. So I figured it was a safer bet to get the light one. And I guess watching her like reveal video, these are shades like reminiscent that are in the original, but they are reformulated and they're slightly different. So this looked pretty. So I did want to try that. It wasn't very expensive to get these three pieces. So I just figured I'd try a little bit. I want to say it was like 34 for all three. Like it was not bad. And then this is like I said, a liner and a tinted lip balm. And she had this one that's a little like more of a pinky nude. And then she had a more like darker brownie type color. There we go. So I went with the lighter, like more every day. So what is the liner called? Does it have a name? There's a number on it. Candy Icing is the name of this duo. Excuse me, Evie. My smaller dog tries to play with the cat like he's a dog. So she's not necessarily hurting him, but she gets a little bit rougher. So there's the lip balm by itself. They do smell like frosting, I think. A little bit of vanilla. Like it's not overpowering. And then this is just a nice like nude liner so again you can put it underneath you could wear the liner by itself with a gloss mix them wear that by itself so that is nice okay like I said I think I might do a normally I I don't do many like brand new review videos like of new products um I did a little bit of that on my channel years ago, but I don't so much anymore. Once in a while, if something sparks my eye, so I might do a standalone video with these, but this collection has been out for a little while, so we'll see. This one will be in a get ready with me at some point. Okay, and then we'll go through the stuff from BoxyCharm. This is from the Cream Shop Holy Brow Eyebrow Powder Trio, is what it says. This didn't look... There's the little colors. This didn't look horrible, and I needed something smaller so I could get free shipping. This is in medium. Here's the packaging. Well, that's cute. There's a little bow. And so it's just brow powders. My um, brow gal powder is getting old. I need to buy a new one. Brow Gal is available on Amazon, but I thought something like this wouldn't be bad because then I don't necessarily need to. It's a little bit smaller, and then I don't need to run out and replace the $20 brow powder. So I got this to try. So there's that. And then I got four palettes from, I think, Pinky Rose which I've been wanting to try this brand for a while. Um, I think there was only one palette that they didn't have that I've, you know, eyed over the years, but these other ones, like I know two of these are out of a bundle that they have on their website. So let's go through them. Did I need all four? Certainly not, but they were a good deal. This one is Exotic Peacock. I've seen these on a few people's channels that I watch and I've been curious about the brand, but 
they're kind of expensive palettes and then like this bundle the, the bundle with this one the 80s baby and there's one other one that's not in these four it's not like the cheapest bundle so, and this is an indie brand so I think these were six dollars a piece or something it was really cheap so this is the exotic peacock I don't do a ton of purples but I like that there's some like bluey purples some teals you know kind of a fuchsia color I love this kind of chartreuse limey shade so this looks pretty are these going to go unused in my collection there's a there's a good possibility because I have some stuff from a couple other indie brands that I have multiple palettes from glam lights one of them where I have you know several that are never been used but I won't get rid of them I don't know if this is gonna go back in the, I don't think that's gonna go back in the bubble wrap so there's the exotic peacock I don't know where I'm gonna throw this okay so then we have the 80s baby which for me the 80s is my favorite decade so th I think this is more this one's more the um the concept of the palette than the color story although this is prettier in person than online looks a little more exciting I like again you've got a few purples there is a black and then yellow kind of a red some interesting shades this color story out of all the palettes that I've looked on their website probably like appealed to me the least but for the price point I got the four that were available yeah if you go on their website I think there was two other ones that I had looked at that um, bright lights the the next two are ones that I hadn't heard of the first two that I told showed you were ones that I've looked at on the website this is pretty this looks like it has a couple of pressed glitters which that doesn't bother me any so very bright and then you got the three pressed glitters that look pretty and then I like the colors in this I didn't even realize that those weren't shimmers you do have glitz and boom are like satin shimmers and then the rest are mattes so that is pretty I will be interested that dazzle looks really really pretty so there are those okay and there's one more I think it's in more of a nude not nude neutral palette yeah these came while I was out of town I figured I needed to open them and look at them anyway and make sure they're not damaged. This one's center stage. Yeah, this is the, but I like, like I already like these mustard <coughs> shades. And this also, that maybe that's a newer thing because there's two pressed glitters and then one, two, three, four shimmers and then the rest are mattes. But the pressed glitters look pretty. I'm not, again, I'm not opposed to pressed glitter. I've gotten over my phobia of the glitter with my contacts because I have done a few looks on my channel where I used press glitter with my lenses and they didn't like tear my lenses to shreds because that was a that was a concern because I stopped wearing press glitter when I went back to contacts so now that I got over that this is pretty this kind of reminds me of soft glam a little bit which I do have and I don't know that I've ever used ABH. Let's pull it out just so we can compare here. Oh yeah. Not identical, but I can see where they were going. I like that this one's a little more mustardy and that this shade leans a little more plum than like terracotta like this one, but I think the, oh yeah, the brush. I'm like, what fell on me? <laughs> the little ABH brush. So I can see, oh, and I'm making a mess here. That's nice, because I don't think I've ever, other than sticking the brush in that, yeah, I've never used my soft glam. I bought this when I went to Montana 
last time, which we won't, that was last year. I've had this palette for a year and I've never used it. I'm, I, my, part of my problem is I go through spurts where I don't wear makeup. So I have all these palettes and I need to re-go through my drawers again probably. But anyways, so you can see where they got the inspiration. I'm sure this one is cheaper than the ABH palette. And then you have two press glitters. So those are the Pinky Rose palettes. Pinky Rose is a brand where I think it's like people love them or hate them. So we'll see. Zueva, I think, is another one. I don't get on with Zueva's eyeshadow formula. So I just have decluttered all of my palettes from them. So I'm hoping that I will like these. But the other brand... have another brand ace Butte is another one where people i think either love their formula or hate it so yeah those are the new like palette slash makeup that i've gotten i wasn't intending to get that many things like i said this the only reason i got four was because i've been wanting to try the brand and it was a really really good deal i think i got all of these and the brow powder for less than what one of their palettes normally retails for. So that's why I got so many. And then like these two, like if there's any, even this one, if I don't end up using them, then I can give them away later. But I figured this would give me some options, some different color stories to play around with. And then this one I added to the cart a while ago and forgot it was in there. So when this showed up, not, again, not that I need another pink palette, but I've been hearing good things about Profusion and they're very, very affordable. I have one of their glitter liners. That's the only thing from them that I've tried and I do like that. So I'm hoping that this is a good drugstore palette because I'm kind of an eyeshadow snob and I don't have kind of a makeup snob. Um, in general, I don't have a ton of drugstore stuff other than like ColourPop. So trying to broaden my horizons a little bit. So yeah, thank you guys so, so much. I am gonna try and film I Get Ready With Me. I can give you guys more of an update. I had planned on filming a gender reveal video. I don't know if I'm gonna do a separate one or if I'll just let you guys know in the Get Ready. But I had a good trip. I came back. I am, oh, I'll be 23 weeks tomorrow so I'm almost six months along if anybody is curious how that how the pregnancy is going thank you guys so so much leave me some comments down below let me know how your summer's starting out hopefully everybody has a wonderful rest of their day thank you guys so much for being here sorry there's been a gap of videos and hopefully I will see you in another video very 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 soon bye everybody